Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. Today I was um, on Bob's live stream. It's Mountain Crest Farms is the live stream and I was talking to Lynn who was the Goat Shed Life, I believe is her channel name. Boy, I'm getting good at this if that's the correct. It'll be in the comment or the more section down below. I'll put their links. But anyways, we were talking about different stuff on the live, and I mentioned about um, Jell-O. And, and I thought, well, gee, I have to make my video. What am I going to talk about? And Lynn said she wanted to hear about Jell-O Girl. <laughs> and I thought, that's a great title. So that may be my title. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'll see how well it pans out. <laughs> but anyways, this is a snippet one tonight because everything that I'm going to mention is really kind of on the short side. Now the story about Jell-O Girl is it came up because um, I guess in Georgia there's some law that where you can't put a uh, ice cream sandwich in your back pocket or something. I don't know, some crazy law. But um, and it brought you to, chicken with and you can't eat chicken, chicken with a fork. Fried chicken with a fork, yeah. But um, it brought up this thought that about Jello in a pocket, because I worked with a girl when I was working at the county home, and she used to she was she was not quite oh well, she wasn't all there some days, and this one day she wanted her Jello, but she didn't finish it. So what did she do? She took a napkin, a paper napkin took her jello off of her plate because these were not in containers and she wrapped it up and put it in her pocket of her uniform and her uniform is white so this and so as the day progressed the the jello was melting of course and the pocket was getting kind of funny but she did she used to do that with a lot of different foods but the jello was the was the one that really was crazy. I could see her doing that with cookies or something, but she did it with Jello. Okay, that was about the Jello girl, and she was, she was probably in her twenties when she did this. So it was like, ah, oh, you gotta be kidding. Then I was thinking about um, competitions, like if or if you have to do a book report or something. You you want to, like, I used to always want to be first because first the teacher always gave you a better grade because you were breaking the the way or paving the way for the rest of them. And also you took and you, whatever topic you had, nobody else has said the same stuff because a lot of times we are all given the same topic and then you had to do a um, oral report on that same, on that topic. And this way your stuff was fresh. Plus, if you're being judged, now say you're in a dance or a, a some kind of competition where you want to compete with somebody and there's like 20 people, you want to either be first or you want to be last. Why? You don't want to be in the middle because first of all, the first one people will remember and if you're last, they'll probably remember. The only benefit about being last is you know what kind of competition you have facing you so you know whether you're good or not or if you have to step it up a bit or something but usually the first one they'll remember and the last one but the ones in between are kind of a blur so I would rather not be in the middle then I also was thinking about how when I'm talking on the camera I get a little bit warm sometimes because I start to get embarrassed and what it is, is you're, you're, con you're conscious all of a sudden that people are actually out there watching you. And it brings the heat to your, to my face anyways. And what, it, what this brought to mind was when I was in the school and you're with the teacher, there was a lot of teachers that were real animated and really, the kids loved them. They were, they were focused on the teacher and the teacher was really making a lot of facial um, gestures and things with their face. You know, they were just, they're real animated. And then they would stop because now they felt a little ridiculous because the adults in the room 
they were feeling like are judging them for their little bit of silliness but the kids loved the silliness and so um i was really am animated with the kids kids i love being animated with but you do you with the adults you begin to think oh gosh they're gonna think because they see the they're gonna think you're nuts i didn't finish that sentence mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> i start i i think of something and I'm, then it's like oh you know what i want to say i don't need to finish it but um they do like when you're singing a song you sing with a lot of emotion and a lot of whatever and the kids just love it they eat it up and they they're focused right on you but if you're singing with a humdrum kind of no no high lows in your voice they they lose focus on you and they they don't even want to they don't even want to sit in their chair anymore so you have to keep the attention and that's what i have to think when i'm talking to you got to keep your attention so attention <laughs> oh gosh i just did it all right uh, my husband's laughing my son is over there he's home and i'm feeling red <laughs> oh gosh i'm looking red okay it's time for me to say goodbye because now i really blew it all right i hope you have a great night oh, oh i forgot yes i he just pointed yes i did want to tell that i'm going to show you um karina the um little moo and oink things it looks yes. like it looks like i'm oink oh well <laughs> i was supposed to be moo but that's okay we'll leave it as is i no 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 touch it don't touch it because I got to show it. No, it's don't put me on the other side. I like the right hand side. I like I to be. I thought they had to go like that because they're facing each other. Oh, well, maybe that's, yeah, that's better. Otherwise, they're butt end to the butt. <laughs> yeah. That's okay. We'll leave it like it is. I'll just show you. I'll just show you what I'm seeing. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go look. Okay, there it is. Isn't that adorable? It's got Nona and Poppy. And I'm oink, <laughs> and he's moo. I'm holding the camera, so if it's a little wobbly, that's the reason. I'm not a strong mo woman. I, I'm, I am a strong woman, but not that strong. That was that's dumb. Steady. Now that was dumb. <laughs> oh, well. I'm going to have to leave it in. Well, let's go back. Whoa. <laughs> I'm zoomed in. i got to zoom me out. Okay that was big <laughs> um that looks really nice up there karina i want you to know my wood is so old and that is that is the that's maple. not that's the maple yep. the maple it's been up there oh gosh a good 38 years mm, no i don't know 30 years no maybe years. 35 yeah probably because uh, um yeah, because Candy was helping to sand the cover. She used to like to have a block of sand, and she wanted to help. Um, so, and he broke two screws, and he drilled a hole, and two screws still broke because the wood is so, so hard. And then he finally got it in, and it was on the moo that was giving him the hard time. The oink went in fine. <laughs> Oh gosh. Well, that's it. Now it is the end. If you stuck around, you heard a lot of crazies. But if you didn't, mm, you missed out. So I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.